how to install a new circuit into a double pole breaker. If they are new to this kind of stuff, don't worry. First thing first, safety first. So the first thing you want to do is to turn off your main breaker on your electrical panel. All right, let's do this. If you're confident and know what you are doing, with proper safety procedures, you do not have to turn off the main breaker. Alright, let's take off the panel cover. Let's safely set this aside. There are many different panels, but they are very similar. Let's pretend my breaker is off right now. Even though it's off, it still can be very dangerous. It is very important you do not touch any bare metal or copper showing above the main breaker handle because it is still alive. There is still electricity running through it. And to keep a safe practice, do not touch these metal bare parts. Let's say the main breaker does fail and you do not know when you touch it, you could die. There still could be electricity running through these, even though the main, main breaker is off. Another thing you should not touch is the main bus bar right here. That could potentially have electricity running through it, even though your main breaker is off. So it's a good safe practice you do not touch those with your bare hands. You should wear gloves, just in case. I'm working on this panel live. Here I have a volt tester. I will show you the parts that you should definitely do not touch while working live. Even though if you have gloves on, it still can be very dangerous and you can die. So here are the ter four terminals you definitely do not want to touch with your bare hands. And those terminals, it's connected to this bus bar. That's also live, dangerous. And also these screws, you should definitely do not touch when working live. And on the side, if you have copper showing, copper sticking out, like this one over here, definitely do not touch. It's also live and dangerous. Like this, live dangerous. Remember, do not touch those parts. Very dangerous. I will have to trim these down. It's showing too much copper. I will have to cut them down to one centimeter. Step number two, on a new installation, on the panel cover, you will have to break off two tabs for the double pole breaker. All you will have to do is twist and turn and pull off. In this demo, I'll be installing a new circuit for my air conditioner. So I will need a 8 gauge wire plus a 40 amp double pole breaker. Step number three, we are ready to insert the breaker into the panel. But before that, we should inspect the breaker to see how we are going to do that. So if we turn to the side, you see this bottom corner? It sort of looks like a hook. It uh, kind of is like a hook. It acts like a hook where it grabs onto the plastic on the panel. It makes like a motion looks like this where it it's a, makes it the breaker as a pivot point where it goes up and down where it's able to release the breaker over the panel. So in the panel here, this is the part I was talking about, which acts like a hook against the breaker and it pivots it back and forth. This is where you want to hook the breaker under. Make sure you get nice and tight, nice and close into the corner. That's how it sits. Now let's take a look back at the breaker. Now if you turn it to the sit side or the bottom, you can see there's an opening, there's these slots. That's where the blades come in place. The slot one and slot two. That is where these blades goes into. Always double check, make sure the breaker is in the off position. Now I am ready to slide the breaker all the way in in the corner. Make sure it's nice and tight and close in the corner. Now I'm gonna push it down. Make sure the blades is slotted into the slots. 
now it's in. And that's how you install your double pole breaker. Now if you are planning to run a new circuit into your panel, you will have to find a knockout like one of these on the side of the panel and knock it out, which looks like this once it's out. To do that, you just need a flathead and a hammer just to pop it out. It's very easy. After that, you will need a Lumix cable connector, which looks like this. It's what's used for is to strap down the wire onto the panel so it doesn't move. That's what it looks like when the product is finished. To put one in, make sure the screw is unscrewed all the way out and then you want to squeeze the Lumix connector squeeze it down so it fits in the hole it shouldn't take too much effort and that's how it looks now you can slide up the plate up where the wire can poke through next step before poking the wires through the cable connector, you must have enough wire that will be able to reach your breaker and the ground bar. Very important. Then you want to strip the jacket just enough so it sticks out through the panel to the other side about half inch to a quarter inch. Just like these ones. This one's piece stripped by someone else. Now I am ready to poke it through the cable connector. You wanna shape the wire and slowly push it through. Be very careful. Slowly push the wire through. Be careful not to pull too hard. You don't want to damage the cable. When you strip off the exterior jacket, be careful not to cut too hard. Then you can cut through the wires if you do do it too hard. Okay, I uh, almost have my wire through all the way to the size, to the place I want it. So I want it to stick out about a quarter inch is enough just to see the jacket. Just like that. Now I am ready to screw down the screw and tighten it. Now I am going to tighten this connector. Just tighten it enough so the wire is unable to slide out of the panel. You don't want to do it too tight. It can damage the wire too. Do a tug test. Make sure it's not loose. And, and you're ready for the next step. This panel is very busy. The very first wire you should tighten down is the ground wire. It's either green or bare copper. So you just screw it down under the ground bar.
So it's right here. This is the ground bar. That's what it looks like, and I screw down the ground wire to the ground bar. The next step is to strip your wires up to about one centimeters long. Mine's are pre-stripped already. As you can see, there's a strip gauge on a breaker. It's about also one centimeters long. So you can just line the wire up to that and you can strip to exact length. The next wire I am going to install would be the white wire or the neutral wire. That is going to be installed on the bar running along next to the breaker. It will be the longest bar. It's on both sides. That is the neutral bar. So shape your wire and just insert it into any screw you like. Now do a tug test, make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, now it's done. Now we are ready to install the live wires or the hot wires, the black and the red. On the breaker, you can install it on the top or bottom. It does not matter. You can mix and match. They both work the same way. Makes no difference. Going to shape my wire. Insert it into the breaker. Now I'm going to tighten it. Do a tug test, nice and tight, it's not loose. Now for the next wire. Do another tuck test. Now it's done. This is how it should look like when you strip wires and installed properly. There is little to none copper showing. These two is good. But for here, someone else did this. It stripped the wires a little too long that there's more copper showing than there should be which can be dangerous. So don't do it that way. Do it the correct way. Strip it about one centimeters. Don't turn on the breaker just yet. Let's put on the panel first before we do that. Once you have safely secured the panel on, we can turn on the breaker. And that's how you install a double pole breaker with a new circuit. Thank you for watching this video. See you until next time. Peace out.